Hello, it is Sunday afternoon, November 25th, the Sunday after Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a lovely day. This is Inner Treasures 108 readings, and I'd like to do a reading today about climate change. Someone asked for a reading about climate change a couple of weeks ago, and I've been trying to keep um, the outside information on climate change out of my perception for a little bit so that everything that comes through today is um, uh, coming to me from spirit rather than from uh, the newspaper or the internet. I've shuffled the cards here. Again, I'm using the soul cards. They're beautiful cards with no meaning, so everything will have um, a different meaning every time I read. So my first question is going to be, is there a climate change catastrophe on, on the horizon? So unfortunately, yes, there is a climate catastrophe on the horizon. Um, and it looks like uh, it looks like it's getting worse, not better, although I do believe there are some small inroads that have been made. Um, it is something that is getting worse, not better. Will climate change affect the lives of the people in the United States? Yes, very much so. Um, I believe that we have been on this downward trajectory for years upon years upon years, and we just didn't know it. Let me move these so that you can see these cards. The climate change deniers are really running the show here, and I, I'm getting that it's not so much that they deny climate change, it's that they feel that they can profit more uh, with the continued degradation of our climate, of our land, of our waters, uh, than if they try to solve it. I'm also getting that there are at least three people or three groups that have individual keys for helping to either slow down or reverse this climate change. And these three individuals or three groups have been desperately trying to get people to listen to them, but they're not being listened to. They're being ignored. Uh, they're being rebuffed at every turn. There is at least one older gentleman in charge of one group, and the other two groups, I believe, are um, being led or at least they are the face of um, the other two groups. There may be many, many more, but I'm seeing three. Two led by or fronted by younger men. Um, actually, no. One would be a younger man. One would be a younger woman. And by younger, I mean 35 or, or below. Um, and so one younger man, one younger woman, one older man, um, and they're being totally rebuffed. Um, I do not believe that these are American citizens. I believe that these are citizens of other countries, um, and they're desperately trying to get anyone to listen to, help fund, um, uh, back their, their projects. Um, Mother Nature is really ticked off with us. It is not going to be an easy go. I think that many, many people are going to die. Um, I'm getting, if you live in coastal areas, you may want to move. Um, if you live in warmer climate areas, you may want to move. It is going to be bad. Um, you know, we have air conditioning, we have 
lots of ways that we can deal with the heat, but it's not necessarily going to be the heat that's the problem. It's going to be the rising water. It's going to be the, the, the bugs, the snakes, the predatory um, species that will be carrying disease. They'll be carrying, um, actually, in their consciousness, they're going to be carrying pent-up anger toward, um, toward humans who are causing all of this. While we in the United States tend to be um, going our merry way, we're not so worried about it, this is not um, anything we should be worried about, um, we're seeing uh, people just disregarding. Um, that's the, This is going to be our downfall. We are going to be hit hard, very, very hard. Um, everybody's going to be hit hard, but there are people, there are nations that have things in place that are going to help them. We are not one of those. We are not one of that group. Let's see if I can in picture for you. Um, can this be reversed? We're nearing a tipping point where no, it cannot be reversed. Will this cause mass extinction? Yes. Um, uh, the person who asked me to do this was very particularly um, concerned about biodiversity. That is already in such a downward spiral, I don't see. Even with a few, it seems like there's a few reversals of, of that in certain species, um, we're on a downward spiral there. Um, as far as human life, again, we're on a downward spiral. We have the capacity to feed and care for everyone right now, every single person in the world. We are not using the technology that we have um, to, to help people out. And that technology is going to become very dear. It's going to become very um, guarded. Only the very rich will be able to have access to that. I see a lot of panic in the streets. I see a lot of blame placed where it should not be pl placed. Um, there's going to be a time of introspection and what did we do? What can we um, uh, do? I would say within the next five years, there's nothing that we can do. Um, being um, optimistic here Will the humans cease to exist completely? Not in, not in my lifetime, um, but it has begun and it will continue. Since I was a very young child, I always knew in my um, brain, in my heart, that I would be alive at the end of the world. I might not be alive for the last human being the last human being taking the last breath, but I, I really feel like I am experiencing here the beginning of the end of the world as we know it. Extinction. Can this be reversed? Can it be reversed? Oh, lots of screaming and yelling. It will be difficult. It will be very difficult. Um, I don't want to be the, the the voice of negativity here, but it will be very, very difficult. Perhaps, um, you know, perhaps it's going to be one of those situations that we see in literature, that we see in um, movies, a small group of survivors. Maybe like the Planet of the Apes, I don't know. Um, but as far as the mass of humanity, no. Um, it's, 
it's started, it will be very difficult to reverse. What can we do? We can start to care for Mother Earth. We can start to care for the, um, the beings of this Earth, whether they be human or non-human. Um, I'm getting bees. I'm getting bee houses. Um, bee... I'm not getting hives. I'm getting bee houses. You know, perhaps they mean those... Um, I got something in the mail quite a while ago about these little bamboo houses with the um, th that are hollowed out that the bees can can use. I, d I don't know. Um, we're too dependent on resources that are going to be burned to a crisp, uh, either by fires like we're seeing in California now, by um, just the heat, will the world become a mass desert? Maybe. There is hope. We must save the water. We must save the land. And we must save ourselves as we become more attuned to what our souls need, we can then spread that. As we get in touch with our spirituality, our soul destiny, then others will begin to do the same thing, hundredth monkey type thing. Um, caregivers, uh, spiritual teachers, and, I, and I'm not talking about Christian evangelical teachers. I'm, you know, they're part of the, the hierarchy in the um, monetary system here, and uh, they, they've lost all credibility. Um, I, I'm, I'm talking about those people who are in their communities doing what they can to help people, doing what they can to teach people, doing what they can to get others in touch with their own souls. As this begins to happen, people will begin to see, I've got to care for the water, I've got to care for the land, I've got to care for my fellow human beings, I've got to care for the other beings on this planet. This is a really heavy feeling that I have. This is a, a real heavy reading. It is not um, a happy ending for all, but maybe it can be a happy ending for some. Most definitely a happy ending for some. Start looking at what we can do at home. Can we plant trees? Can we grow our own gardens? Can we stop using chemical fertilizers? Can we stop polluting with our cars with coal? Um, do what you can. If you can't afford to buy a hybrid or electric car, maybe you start taking public transportation. Lots of public transportation now uses clean burning fuel. Um, if you don't have a yard to plant a garden, maybe you can plant tomatoes in a bucket. Little things just become cognizant. I think at this point, even at this point, there is a very slim chance, there is always hope that, um, that things can turn around, but we don't have that much time left. I think that there are still going to be, even if we turned it around tomorrow, there would still be deaths. There would still be climate change related deaths. deaths. And this is not global warming. This is climate change. This is huge winter storms. This is ice melt. Um, prepare yourself. Make sure you have water. Make sure that um, you are doing what you can to save the planet, to save the children, and to save yourself. Thank you for listening. I know it's a kind of a, a, a heavy-duty reading. 
please comment below or go to my website, innertreasures108.com. Until next week.